Some people will tell you that there's a place deep in the highlands where there's such a wonderful land, where everyone belonged to the same clan. In this tale it came from one of them that was unable to return home. His name was Gorak Morienta. There were two brothers. Gorak Mor was three years older than Gorak Beg. And in this wonderful land, the people were of normal height, but everything else was bigger than normal. It was incredibly big. The plants were as big as the trees, and when the dandelions were in bloom, it was like a yellow forest. When it rained, the people would get shelter under the leaves of the rhubarb. Can you even imagine? Such a wonderful land it was. The homes inside the trees could hold up to a hundred people. The tatties as big as bulls. The trout as big as a basket and shark and the deer, well the deer would trample on people as if they were ants. So as you can imagine, the animals, even the livestock, they were pretty dangerous beasts. The cattle were so big that the people just stopped milking them and instead they milked the rabbits and the mice. Aye, <laughs> it was a wonderful land without a doubt. But the most unusual thing is it was against the law to tell a lie. So we know that what Gorak Moore told us was the pure truth. For thousands of years the Scots would tell tales of giants, of the fairies, of the witches, of the supernatural wonders that are all around the country. And today, we're going to a very, very, very special place. A place where tales were told before history began. Welcome to Amplock. Locals would gather among these resting giants and eagerly listen to the tales told of the supernatural. Tales told by the elders, told by the travellers. Fairy knolls and fairy hills are a common occurrence in the Scottish Highlands. You don't have to look very far to be able to find one. Somewhere up in Torridon, there is a small, small hill next to a wee locket where the wee folk are known to part. be seen by us mortal humans on the crossover nights of the new year where the other world and our current world kind of merge together one day three hunters were passing the fading old right on the edge of the new year two of them seen the lights and they continued through the woods the last one couldn't resist the enchanting lights and the music that the fairies were playing. So he hid behind the tree and he watched the fairies dance and party. When the other two hunters turned round, their friend was gone. As they had knowledge of the area and knew what the fairy world was really like, they figured we, we probably won't see him. We have to continue down the road and get home and return in a year's time on the exact same day. When the hunters returned a year later, their friend was there, peeking behind the trees, gazing at the enchanting lights of the fairy world. And his two friends grabbed him and tore him away from the fairy land. And he accepted. He thought he'd been there for a mere 10 minutes but it turned out to be an entire year of his life.
somewhere in Loch Torridon there's an ancient well. The surface of this well was three sacred stones that would swirl and swirl and swirl for eternity. It is said that this well had the capabilities of curing any disease and any sickness. All one had to do is take a wee bucket and scoop up one of the stones and the water and take it to the ill person. The sick person would touch the stone and the stone would have to be replaced back in the well. After which, the sickness would disappear, the illness cured. Well, one day three grave diggers from out of town came into Torridon and they decided to wash their tools in this sacred well. The next day, her grandmother passed the well and noticed that the stones had gone. Her entire life, those three stones had swirled and swirled and swirled and now they disappeared, they sunk to the bottom. And the sick, never to be cured again. But to say goodbye guys to Amplock, I will definitely be coming back here again at another time. Um, the weather's turning and I've got, got to ride home. So it's a pretty little long ride home if anyone knows where Torridon is. It's proper, proper in the middle anyway. I just want to mention a few things before I go. The mainstream's acceptance of Amplock is that it was like an open air church. I'm not saying it wasn't an open air church, I know it was an open air church, but it was not built for that. The true purpose of it was, it was a gathering place for the, for the stories and the tales of our wonderful, magical world. Torridon is, without a doubt, the land of giants. When you look at the rock formations, whoo, makes your creative mind bubble, man, just incredible. Such a marvellous place to, to come and enjoy, man. Like, it's just got a special atmosphere, which the giants and our ancestors left for us to appreciate. I'm not gonna bother with my spiel. If you do like more of this kind of, these kind of videos on, I hate using the word folklore. There are so many tales in this country. Majority of which, well, most all of which are in Gaelic and some of which have never even been translated. So I will update you on that in the future. And hi, um, we're going to have loads more fun, exciting adventures. So join the crew in that, hit subscribe. Made so many buddies and pals from making these videos. It's an absolute honor to meet you all, or not meet most of you. I haven't met most of you, but just to say hey, yeah. So, cheerio the day.